Baggy, the monster of mighty nature, Dazi Raw no Mosho Baggy Daishizen no Maju Baggy is an anime movie that premiered on the Nippon Television Network on August 19, 1984. It was written by Osamu Tezuka as a critique of the Japanese government's approval of recombinant DNA research that year. Synopsis Deep in the South American jungle, a 20-year-old Japanese hunter named Ryusuke Ryo for short, and a local boy named Chiko, stalk a monster that has been terrorizing the local countryside. Ryo, however, is quite familiar with this beast, and the story flashes back to his childhood. 15-year-old Ryusuke Ishigami, the delinquent son of a crime reporter and a geneticist, is out with a motorcycle gang when they encounter a mysterious woman. Some of the rougher members of the gang accost her, and she turns out to be anything but normal, landing the gang with serious injuries. The gang leader returns to the woman's hideout for revenge, but the gang members are torn apart, except for Ryusuke. The woman, named Baggy, turns out to be a cat woman, a cross between a human and a mountain lion. She recognizes Ryusuke as the boy who had rescued her and raised her as a kitten when he was six years old. As Baggy grew and people became suspicious of the precocious cat, who was able to walk on her hind legs and even learn to write her own name and speak, she escaped and grew to adulthood on her own and nine years have passed until she met Ryo again. Upon their reunion, Ryusuke and Baggy join forces to find out the truth of her origins. Ryusuke's own mother is found responsible for Baggy's creation. Baggy is a product of recombinant DNA research between human and mountain lion cells. They then follow Ryusuke's mother to South America to confront her about the reason for Baggy's existence, but find a far greater peril. The officials in charge of the laboratories there are creating a strain of rice that has the potential to destroy humanity. Ryusuke's mother sacrifices her life to have Baggy destroy the rice ball and Ryusuke mistakenly pins the blame on Baggy, vowing revenge. Meanwhile, Baggy is quickly losing her human traits and becomes extremely feral, attacking any humans that come near. Ryo catches up to her and stabs her when she attacks, but then finds a handwritten note held in a locket around her neck. He reads his mother's last words, expressing remorse for being both a bad scientist and a bad mother, and Ryo realizes his mistake and is filled with regret. He returns to the site the next morning to find Baggy's body gone, a set of footprints leading off to the distant mountains, meaning that Baggy has survived the stabbing and run off. He prays for Baggy to live on in solitude, far away from mankind. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters in order of appearance. Ryo, Ryusuke Ishigame voiced by, Kazuhiko Inoue A young Japanese man and the main protagonist. His father is a crime reporter, and his mother, Professor Ishigami, works in a laboratory without mentioning much about it not coming home often. Believing he doesn't have much to live for, he joins a biker gang. He reunites with Baggy on his 15th birthday and becomes a hunter five years later. Baggy was his pet. When she was not yet fully grown, Chico, Chico voiced by, Kazuteru Suzuki, a Mexican boy who suspects that Baggy killed his father and seeks revenge. He meets Ryo and helps him track down Baggy in the nearby wilderness. He wears a sombrero and is skilled in the use of bolus, Baggy voiced by, Sako Shimazu, a creature genetically modified to contain both human and feline DNA, her specific origins are not disclosed in the story. Baggy and her mother were the only survivors of an animal outbreak at the Super Life Center, though her mother was eventually hunted down. Baggy wandered as a kitten until she met Ryo and became his pet cat. As she grew and developed human characteristics and intelligence, she was forced to leave and disguised herself as a human girl, searching for more of her own kind until she meets Ryo again. Professor Yoko Ashigama voiced by, Masako Ikeda, Ryo's mother and a leading research professor at the Super Life Center. She believes that anything can be improved with science. 
she is responsible for the creation of Baggy and others like her. After the president coerces her to mass produce poisonous rice balls, she is overwhelmed with guilt and arranges to have Baggy destroy the rice balls. She is killed in the process, and Ryo mistakenly blames Baggy. Her last letter to Ryo expresses remorse for being a bad scientist and a bad mother, the chief voiced by, Kosei Tomita, the man in charge of the Superlife Center, who is cunning and ambitious. He has a short, almost comical stature possibly from dwarfism with long hair that sticks up in a fashion similar to that of Albert Einstein and a small mustache similar to that of Adolf Hitler. He explains Baggy's origins after she and Ryo infiltrate the center, then is hypnotized into arranging transport for them to South America to meet with Professor Ishigami, Colonel Sada voiced by, Masaru Ikeda, the head of the Imperial Guards of Monica. He mistakes Ryo and a driver for rebels after Ryo and Baggy hijack a circus truck. After making Baggy perform a jump through a 30-meter flaming coil under threat of execution, he knocks Baggy and Ryo out and takes them to the Kukaracha Research Lab without their knowledge. He's seen again with the president as he and Professor Ishigami discuss the change in the genetically engineered rice before they found out it had a strong poison in it. When Ryo tried to escape, Sado attempted to start a sword fight with him. This leads to doing so on a pair of bikes. Sado meets his possible end when he falls off the tower of the research lab. It is also possible that he may have survived, the president of Monica voiced by, Yuzuru Fujimoto. The malevolent president of the North American country where the Kukaracha Research Lab is located, he is rather heavy set and dresses in gaudy attire, including a robe that appears to be made from dyed animal tails. He comes to inspect the work being done at the research lab, and then gets the idea to use a poisonous genetically engineered rice created there to eliminate guerrilla rebels that have been opposing his government for years, as well as anyone else who opposes him. When Professor Ishigami refuses to cooperate with his plan, he has her killed by his attack dogs. His plans are ultimately defeated thanks to Baggy and Ryo, Baggy escaping the lab with the only samples of the rice while Ryo destroyed the lab, Semen Bond voiced by, Katsuji Mori, the man responsible for keeping Ryo in custody at the Kukaracha Research Lab, known for his remarkable marksmanship. His decisions solely depend on coin flipping. Following Ryo's escape from the research lab, he is fired and then agrees to teach the boy everything he knows about shooting. He appears to be a loose parody of James Bond, evidenced by his last name and music that plays during most of his appearances. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distribution elsewhere. Currently, the anime has not received official distribution in North America in any form at all, save a subtitled version available for viewing on YouTube and on viki.com. However, it has been released in other countries, but as of 2011, an official English dub has not yet been produced. A crowdfunder for a North American DVD was attempted at Anime Souls, but was not successful. See also Isamu Tezuka List of Isamu Tezuka anime List of Asamu Tezuka manga Asamu Tezuka's star system <laughs>